Welcome to this episode of Shock Gaming Powerboard, where we benchmark test computers up against each other. This time we have the Max Byte Brutality. So let's see what it can do. So the Max Byte Brutality is what we would call an entry level computer. It's going to be interesting to see where it's going to land. Uh, we have the i5 processor and the 1660 graphics card. So I would expect that we would end up somewhere between the the eBlaster and the Kickstarter version 2. So let's uh, let's get into what's actually inside this computer. It comes with an i5 1040F processor. We have the uh, Asus Prime H510ME motherboard. The graphics card is a GeForce GTX 1660 Ventus XC 6G OC. We have a 500 watt power supply and we have a one terabyte SSD and it is cooled by an Intel stock cooler. So some of the things that we would expect to influence the performance is the cooling. Um, the better the cooler, the more uh, performance you will get out of this CPU. So with an Intel stock cooler on, we would expect it to perform a bit worse than if it had a, a liquid cooling system uh, in it. We also have it installed on a Windows 11 machine. Uh, and while doing these benchmark tests, we've, it, we've seen that PCs generally perform better when it's run on a Windows 11 machine, uh, especially the newer processors. So it's gonna be interesting to see how well a uh, 10th generation processor will perform in Windows 11 settings. So as always, we run the test on times by extreme. We will stress test the GPU and the CPU to get one final score, which goes up on our Shark Gaming power board. So let's get to it. So the test is finished and we ended up with a final score of 2,541, which is around where we would expect it to be. We, we've ended up between the eBlaster Tiger Shock and the Kickstarter version 2. And as you can see, I've already made room for it. And it seemed that the computer was performing a bit better in the Windows 11 settings, um, which is quite interesting. Um, we're gonna be uh, keeping an eye on that to see if that generally affects the computers that we are benchmark testing here. If you wanna see a specific build tested, please let us know. And as always, remember to subscribe and follow us here on our YouTube channel to get more content like this. Thank you for watching.